Hi everybody, today I'm going to show you how you do a brown smoky eye. So what I'll be using is um, the number one addictions palette. It's got uh, some great natural browns in it. I'm also going to be using my um, bronzer on my eyes a bit and um, black eyeliner. So first things first is we take our the new angled brush that has the sponge on the other end. We take that into the color called Elated. It's this lightest one at the end. And we're just gonna spread it all over our eyelids. Go up to the eyebrow. This just makes a base for your um, the rest of your eye makeup. All right, so I'm gonna brush that off and I'm taking the same brush and I'm going to use, this is where the bronzer comes in. Um, this is called a transition color. This is so that you don't have um, a super stark line um, when you do your crease line. It will help blend everything in with when you do your crease plus this lighter color that I just did. So you just take a little bit on your brush, tap it off, and you're gonna run it in your crease but also up a little bit higher. Do the other side, up a little bit higher. Okay, next I'm taking my the crease brush, works perfect for this, and I'm taking this one called Forthright, it's right there, and I literally, you don't need much because they're highly pigmented, you just lightly tap it, and we're going to go right into the crease with that one. So don't get to, don't worry about what it looks like right now. It will all be blended when we're done. Okay. All right, you can take your angle brush that you used with the bronzer and there's still some stuff on here. So I'm actually just gonna go over top of it again. And we rub it under the eye. So this is the brush that had the bronzer on it. Okay, I'm gonna take a different crease brush, take the bronzer, and go under my eye as well. And then the crease brush that I had the fourth right on, the darker brown, same thing, go under your eye a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go back to that, the lightest color there. I just like to keep the eyelids as light as we can. You'll see why in a bit. So it just helps blend that bottom line of the crease line a little bit more. Sorry, I have to use my other mirror. All right, now I'm gonna take um, my black eyeliner, sharpen it as pointy as you can, and um, yeah, we're gonna do, just do a thin line on top. So.
Okay, so one thing you want to do with your eyeliner is you want to take it all the way across into the corner. You don't want to stop here. It um, makes your eye, like the natural, when you look at your eye, um, it just will naturally stop at that line. You want it to continue over so that it flows really nicely, just like this. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually use what we call, it's the white eyeliner called Pristine. And I'm going to put it right under here to help brighten my eyes. So you actually just take it and put it right on your uh, tear line. <laughs> Hard to do with my mouth closed. I'm sure you guys all do the same thing. Why is that that we do that anyway? Do we think it stretches our faces down? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, that just helps to see how it um, brightens the bottom of my eyes up. All right. So now I'm just gonna go here. I like to take um, my deluxe brush again, the one that I originally started with to use the lightest color. Um, after I do my eyeliner, I take a little bit on on there and I just brush over top of it just a little bit just to soften that line out slightly. Right? So this is your brown smoky eye. I just have to add some mascara and some lip gloss. Okay, so I just finished putting on my um, 3D Fiber Lash Plus Mascara. I do two coats of each. Um, you can watch my other tutorials if you want to know how to, to put it on. Um, but yeah, two coats of that, and now I'm ready for my lips. So when I do a more dramatic eye, I like to keep the lips as neutral as possible. Um, just, yeah, it's too much going on if you have um, bright lips and really... You can, there's nothing saying that you can't, but that's what I like to do. So I am just going to, um, yeah, do a lip liner first. This one's called pouty, and you never want to just leave that line like I just put on. You're actually um, going to pull it down on the top and push it up from the bottom so that, um, yeah, that if your lipstick or your lip gloss goes away, you're not just left with a line around your lips. So I'll show you how. So you're just adding a bit more. Then the line. Um, today I chose a lipstick in called um, Well To Do. Sorry, I'm not very good at filming this. There you go. There's the look for today. Um, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.